Hello. In the previous episode, we've added a dynamic form to a Ruby on Rails application where, based on the selection of access, we could either display or hide the passcode field. So if we selected draft or published, then the passcode field was not visible, but if we selected passcode protected, then the passcode field was visible and was done by sending a request to the server and the server evaluated whether to show the passcode field or not and using Turbo Streams or Turbo Frames, it would uh, display the passcode field inside our HTML. And now now, thinking further about this uh, specific problem, we can uh, think that uh, we don't really need uh, um, Turbo uh, to do something uh, as simple as this. We can just show or hide this uh, HTML for the passcode field based on the selection in this field using uh, some uh, JavaScript and uh, CSS. And uh, that's what we're going to do now. We're just going to use a similar, oh, a simple stimulus controller that would uh, either show or hide the passcode field based on the selected access. So let's start. And we're not going to start from a new Rails app. We're actually going to start with the same thing as we had in the previous episode. We will have a post model where we can select access, passcode, and body. We already have uh, our posts in the roots, and the post model contains access, that is an enum, and a conditional passcode uh, that has to be present if we have selected a passcode protected inside our access. So now we forget that backend validations are really important. And inside the form, we have a select field where we have an enum of post accesses. Okay, and now the task is to create a stimulus controller that would either display or hide the passcode field based on uh, the access that we select. And uh, only if it's like passcode protected, passcode field should be visible. So let's start by creating a stimulus controller. I'll say Rails generate stimulus and I will name the controller, let's say show hide. Let's open the controller. And here, let's think. So uh, we'll have an input, we will have an output that will be conditionally visible, and uh, there will be some kind of value based on which uh, we're going to compare the selected uh, access uh, to what we want. So let's say static uh, targets will be uh, input and output. Okay, and let's add the input and output to our form. So I will wrap this all into one more stimulus controller. I will say div data controller show hide. I will close the div after the passcode field. And uh, I will uh, add uh, the output target uh, to our passcode field. So I would say div uh, data show hide target will be output. And uh, here I will say uh, data show hide target will be input. Okay. And let's make the output uh, hidden by default. Okay. Let's uh, start the server once again. Let's make the output uh, hidden by default. So I will say this dot output target dot hidden equals true. Okay, and you see passcode is hidden at the moment. And we are going to make uh, it uh, visible if we select access that equals to passcode protected. So now uh, we are not going to hard code the passcode protected value into our controller. We will add a value instead. I will say static values. And here we're going to have a hash, and inside the hash we'll just have show if, so it's going to be the conditional value, uh, and it's going to be a string. And uh, we're going to trigger some kind of action that would conditionally either show or hide uh, this passcode field, the output target. So I would uh, name an action like toggle, toggle, and uh, inside this toggle we will conditionally show or hide the output target. And we are going to compare the value that we select in this access field and uh, the show if value that we set uh, on the controller. So we have this data controller show hide, and I will say data show hide uh, uh, show if value. So show if is the name of the value, and uh, well, it is a value. And the value is going to be password protected. So we are going to show if we have selected passcode protected. Okay, and now we are going to compare this value, this one, with the one that we select in our access. 
So uh, how can we do it? Well, we have our uh, this dot uh, uh, input target dot value that we can compare with this uh, uh, show if value. So we are going to compare these two values and based on them, we are going to either show or hide the output target. So let's add this uh, simple if else statement. I will say um, if this uh, input target value does not equal this show if value, then we are going to say uh, this output target uh, hidden is true. And else, if uh, they are equal, so equal, I'm going to say this output target is not going to be hidden. So hidden false. Okay, let's see if it works. Well, nothing changed, of course, at the moment. We are still just connecting. We need to kind of trigger this toggle. And to trigger this toggle, we are going to add an action to our form select. So when we change something in this form, we are going to go to the controller and trigger this toggle. Let's see. I will go uh, and say action. And the action will be on change. We are going to trigger the controller show hide. And the action will be toggle. And let's see if it works. So I change draft not visible, passcode protected visible. So you see, when I select passcode protected, then uh, these two values uh, are equal, and we remove the hidden attribute from this div. So again, it uh, works. And just instead of having this uh, output target hidden true in the connect, I will just say this uh, toggle. So we're going to do this whole evaluation on connect. And now when we refresh the page, you see access is uh, not selected. When we select draft, we try to run the controller. It evaluates whether output target should be hidden or not. I select passcode protected and then passcode is visible. And what we did here, just to recap inside the form, we have uh, set the controller. We have set the dynamic value that you can uh, have different for any controllers. You see, we are not hard coding anything inside our stimulus. We are just passing it as a value. And uh, we are triggering uh, that toggle command when we change our access. It is our input. Here we have the input value. And uh, we are just uh, having this output as some kind of div that we either show or hide. So that's basically it. And you see, you can use it not only inside the form, but on like uh, anything uh, on any HTML. You can show hide some kind of HTML based on some kind of value that you select in a dropdown. So that's about it. I hope you liked uh, this stimulus approach to solving this kind of simple problem of showing hiding uh, some kind of uh, HTML or a field based on uh, a selection drop down for example okay goodbye